Hello. Today I would like to show you how we are going to fix this Carher K55 electric brush. On the recent video, I think we were fixing the K50, the K50 model, and it has a couple of problems. For example, I pointed out that I didn't like the way how the, the bearing was made on the brush and here this is a deluxe model of course I'm joking but they made a quite big improvement so first of all you can press over here and release the brush for cleaning and I'm just grabbing a knife and cutting over here and don't worry it looks very bad, but it's pulling the stuff from the carpet, the strains. And it's definitely a better bearing over here and over there. It's much less forced, loose on that. So they did a good job by improving that. And it's quite easy to clean, as you can see. The other improvement is the, the compartment for the dust. So we press over here. We go like that. And this is our dust and trash compartment. So it's definitely a better way. We've got our on-off switch. And of course it's not working and I'm going to show you why. And this is another improvement because we can take out the battery and we can swap it out while working. But that one is dead. And you can see that was a nickel cadmium 1500 milliamp hours. Just a standard I have to open this, as you can see I was forcing the entry, so it doesn't look nice, but I did that from the side, so this is the part that you see, and I managed to not destroy that, and I don't really care about the side. And what we can find inside, the I believe there are R14 cells, same use as on the power tools, on the drills, they are high discharge and they are completely dead. <coughs> and we've got also a board with a LED, some diode and we can see some kind of uh, transistor. So yes, that's how it looks like. And we are going to fix that. I'm not going to buy a new module because it's too expensive. We can really cheap make our own. I'm using the IKEA Ladda batteries. They are from the IKEA. And from my observation, they are just an Eneloop black. They, they perform as good as analog blocks. They also are capable of high discharge, not that much as, as this. So I would not use them on like a drill, but for that application, I'm pretty sure that they will hold up very well. And I did that battery pack by myself, just by using a battery tabs and a china spot welder and it did really nice I was trying to pull them apart and I was actually breaking that piece of element not the not the battery and yes it will fit nicely inside I was doing a test for the measurement and it will be hold as good 
maybe we have to cut a little bit of the internal part but that should be work extremely nice so now I'm going to put that and we are going to see if the device will be woke up and working this is what we ended up having the original wiring I don't like I'm not sure if you can see but it doesn't suck the solder very well and here I've got the the temp was so high so it even melting the insulation insulation it was dumped in flux but the strains of the wire are completely not taking solder like you would expect from a week so I go for a copper one and yes it's taking solder very very well word of warning if we would like to use a charger with a microcontroller that's going to be using the delta V for detecting end of charge then we would like to remove any and a circuitry that's going from the charger to the battery but I'm not going I'm going to use a very stupid charger I'm going to try to charge this like a 1 slash 20 of the capacity so not a 10 hour but like a 20 hour I'm going to use like 100 milli milliamp for charging and I'm not going to pay much attention to the to the voltage and and the circuit drill which are in the between but that my approach if you would like to use a rapid charger or something else that is digitally controlled I would remove everything and let's take a look will it work I hope we can put it back so the diode is over here the board is good let's see if it rattle inside I'm going to put something inside but it's not rattling let's try no something wrong because I cannot see I cannot see the diode here it is here we go no not rattling okay we've got the diode and I'm going to put it inside and let's try will it work yes it's working and we can do a little test maybe we are going to try to take this couple of things that might be a too big but I'm going to leave it as a, another test let's see can we clear our desk and as you can see it's clear it's pretty nice the desk is clear I managed to hit the stop recording by that element and I would like to just see what we we got inside and just like you would expect we've got our stuff that we just suck inside and this is actually very good because we can recovery like a screw or other electronic components that fell off from the desk and we then suck them then brush them and from the vacuum cleaner that might be a problem but here is not that much hassle we can just uh, see if there is a missing screw then we can recover it so that's how it looks like in my opinion we did a very good job we fixed our device from a fraction cost of the of the new battery of course we can glue it back and make sure that 
it will look nice but I'm not going to do that I do not have another battery for a swap I'm going left it that way it doesn't look very damaged and yeah I like it so thank you very much for watching see you next time and bye bye